What's up guys, it's King Daddy DMAC and welcome, welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. That's right, playing here on the Alpha Tribe server with Primal Fear Baby. So excited, doing flips. Man, oh man, guys, thank you for coming, hanging out, joining me on the adventures. As you always do, please remember, show that amazing support by slamming that thumbs up button. That's right, and if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe for the daily arc awesomeness man oh man speaking of awesome last episode we hatched out our amazing alpha indominus rex it was a baby it took a long time to grow up but it is finally finished that's right and we can finally go on a ride i am so pumped up to try this guy out today so incredibly pumped anywho let's head on up to him come here buddy bro I made a saddle for it, got it all pumped up. Look at this, 650, beautiful. And hopefully I can mount you. Oh man, look at that, look at that, what a beauty. Oh man, it is so cool. Let's see if it's got a roar. And, and, wow, look at that roar. What a monster, what a monster indeed, seriously. All right, come on, buddy, bro. Now I'm having a problem moving with him. Uh, this is interesting. I think his his foot's kind of stuck. All right, hold on, hold on, a moment. You, bro, come here. Let's tell him to follow. Let's see what's going on. There we go. There we go. Come on, you can do it, buddy, bro. I think his foot's actually stuck like inside the house. This is kind of bizarre. This is really bizarre. I think as a baby, he kind of sunk in. I think he's like considering himself inside the house kind of. All right, let's uh, try a little something. Let's grab the teleporter. All right, we'll get this to work. Don't you worry, guys. Let's get him teleported over to, nope, wrong thing. Let's go, there we go. All right, so hopefully he should teleport down below. There we go, beautiful, are we all fixed now? Yes, we are fixed. Oh man, I love this guy. It is so cool. Come on, buddy, bro. And I love that he has the new paint regions. Look at the little stripe on his nose. Look at his feet. Oh, it's about time. Wow, and look at that roar. It is nuts, absolutely nuts. Let's do a couple things. Let's get a pickup matrix on him. Let's get a teleporter thingamajigger on him. Beautiful, and let's get some dinoids in there. Sweet, let's get some of these in case he gets any torpor. Golden, I think we are set to go. All right, let's see, how does he climb? Oh, climbs very well. Wow, he just ran right up there. No problems whatsoever. Let's see if we can find our first kill. I wanna see what this guy actually hits for. Come on, it's gotta be somebody somewhere. Can we see, oh, there we go. Let's head on down here. I'm not sure how this guy does on fall damage. So that will be interesting to find out. Sometimes indoms take a lot in some mods. Anyway, first hit. What? Are you kidding me? Did you just see that, guys? 42,000? And this guy's an alpha. He's not even an apex. Get the crap out of town. Are you kidding me? I was expecting like, you know, 10, 15, maybe 20. 41,000. What the crap? That is ridiculous. That is crazy ridiculous. All right, let's see if he has any other moves. So we did the left click, right click did the roar. X does nothing. C. Oh, apparently does the roar as well. Interesting. Oh, when you press C, look at that. He gets minions. Oh, that is crazy. Little raptor minions. Alpha raptor min. That is so cool. All right, does he have a jump? No jump to speak of. Gets kind of stuck on his raptor minions. Let's tell them to unfollow. All right, interesting. I think that's the first creature that has minions in Primal Fear, perhaps. I'm trying to think. I mean, Broodmothers had minions. I'm trying to think anything else does. I'm sure there is some others like in the boss level, but I don't know if you consider this guy a boss level. I guess he is. 
It's just such a weird taming mechanic where you gotta find the egg. It's kind of like the Reaper, I guess. You know, how it's it's just something a little bit different. I cannot get over how powerful this guy is. This is ridiculous. Absolutely and utterly ridiculous. I'm in love. I am so in love. This has put us so far forward. This is so game changing. Because if this guy's starting out at 42,000, I can't even imagine how strong he's gonna get. I mean, <laughs> this is ridiculous. It is absolutely and utterly ridiculous. I love it. Love it. Oh, hear me roar. That roar animation is so cool. All right, guys. So, other stats. Rockin' over half a million. Impressive. It's not as impressive as what that melee was, but it's impressive. Definitely. Stamina is very good. Oxygen, all right. Food, weight, everything else, pretty crazy. The melee is kind of on the low side. It almost reminds me of like a Giga. Um, Stat-wise... We did pretty decent in the uh, in the melee stat. Like it's not our lowest stat. It's kind of upper mid mid line, so that's pretty good. So yeah, this is interesting. This is very interesting. Oh, you can unfollow me, by the way, bro. And it's also only a 540. It gets way stronger than that. Good grief. So I'm gonna say immediately. I'm likely gonna. We're gonna need a lot more health to match up with its really high melee. Here's gonna be the catcher. Let's see if when we level it up, if it is really slow leveling up, like maybe he won't increase all that much. Holy crap. Those are big level boosts though. Good grief. But yeah, being only at 500, that seems kind of low when we started, but those are huge boosts kind of uh, not too happening on the server today. It must have been a Dino Wipe or something done. Oh, you know what? There was an update today in Primal Fear. Yep, that's what did it. Ooh, Primal Tech Trike. We gotta check Primal Techs out soon. 119 already. This is ridiculous, guys. Oh, wow, that only did 79 on that guy. Nope, 119. Wow. 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 This is too <coughs> crazy insane. Now, once again, also though, I said, we gotta get the health up before we can start, like, for instance, going into the Wyvern Den or something like that, or taking on other bosses. This guy definitely seems like he's gonna be a boss killer. Having melee this high already, it, it's, it's pretty nuts. Pretty nuts, ooh, that was a 580 Elder. The Elders, I believe, are below the Alphas. It's, it's just kind of like a, a little bit better than vanilla. I believe that's how that works. All right, and the roar, let me do a roar at this guy. I just wanna see if it does anything. Do we see any effects going on him or anything? No, it looks like it's just a visual thing. So it's a bite and a minions. All right, that's cool. That's cool, can't expect for much more. Now, what is interesting, I don't believe this version of the Indom has an invisibility move, you know, the cloaking. Um, don't believe that's a thing. Maybe it'll be added at some point. And it is, has been kind of the staple of Indom since the uh, since their inception. But uh, yeah, I guess you know, PyCon, the Primal Fear author, author, just chose not to go that direction. So interesting, interesting, interesting. You can see too, the saddle kind of feels like it fits it. It visually, oh crap, sorry about that. The, uh, the saddle kind of looks like it fits a little funny. Like see how it's kind of large? So it looks like it was a new, like a lot new custom was done on this guy. And it does minorly, oh, this stupid thing. It comes out because of the spyglass. Let me turn off the spyglass. It does look minorly different, like not a whole lot different, but I guess kind of minorly different. Like those little spikes on the top of his head, I don't recall those being on all indoms. And then the spikes in general look a little bit different. It's cool though. I really like him. I really like him a lot. Oop, indom poop. Indom poop and I would assume these guys obviously are breedable since that's how we got the egg more or less Through the through getting it in the wild. So basically you got to bring in the wild You got to bring a female indom down to 10% of their health for them to lay an egg Ooh, Look at this guy. Are you an apex? No nope, alpha. Come here, bro. Let me chew on your face. Ready ready Bam Beautiful 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 all right, how are we doing on levels now? Another 32 levels. 
this is going very well. Um, let's put this in them, the level up counter. That's one of Mr. Fister's standalone mods. It, it's either Fister or Kareem, but uh, yeah, just priceless being able to uh, keep track of the levels. Remember when you used to have to count them? Oh, how much I hated that. I don't know why that's just not a thing in ARC. That <laughs> you can, you know, that it should be a standard thing. I mean, what other games do that where it doesn't keep track of your, your level ups, you know? It's just kind of weird. Anyway, doing wow, 168,000 again already. We've got a ways to go. Why don't we see how it swims? And can I attack in the water? Yep, I can attack in the water and it swims pretty nice. A lot better than I would expect. Look at the little doggy paddle. How cute is that? That is hilarious. Wow. And yep, my head is above water. So that's good. Wow. I'm just still floored. I'm so impressed by this guy. So very impressed. All right. So once again, we, we're not a boss killer yet. But hopefully, hopefully once we're fully leveled, we will be. My goodness. This is just awesome. All right, so I'm gonna level up for a bit and we will return. And this should actually be super quick to level up. Super duper quick. All right, do your poo, bro. Turn around and shawammy. Wow. Oh, and another thing, apparently the indoms, I almost, I almost forgot about this. Apparently they level up their, their health, uh, their health regen is faster than normal dino, so I think it actually heals itself super quick, you know, so you don't have to use, like, healing potions on it, really. I would, the way it was explained to me, I would imagine it would be kind of like playing in Pug or something like that, where, you know, the dinos, if they're not in a battle, they just start to heal um, rapidly. So I assume that's how this guy is, too. But I'll find out as I'm leveling up, and I'll demonstrate it in a moment. All right, guys, just to update you on how we're doing. Holy cow, this Indom is so insanely cool. So crazy cool. Let's just see. Bam, bam, 200. So we're nearing the end. A little less than 50 levels to go until we're maxed out in the melee. It's kind of what I've been working for. Ooh, egg. Grabbing all those eggs as I see them. We're gonna need them if we wanna make a hatchery eventually. That's gonna require, what, 20 eggs? Yep, yep, yep. So happy S, S Plus got fixed, by the way. The whole snapping of all the, uh, of all their foundations and whatnot. Remember last, uh, last season when it happened? Oh man, it made it so I could never finish my houseboat. But we also gotta get to building. I wanna know from you guys, do you, I was planning, um, Froggy Man's probably gonna move out of the uh, current area that we have kind of a shared base place. And that's usually my ideal place that I like to build. I really like that area. Um, do you guys wanna just see me build there this season or would you like to see me move out someplace else? And if you do wanna see me move out someplace else, please I'll let me know. Give suggestions for which biome you'd like to see me in. Again, I prefer the one we're in just because of how safe it is and just the ease of all the different resources that we need. And of course, I believe Froggy Man's probably gonna be building on both Froggy Mountain and I think he was saying that he wanted to build in that biome past the desert in the kind of aberration swampy area. So, which is also a neat area, but uh, it's kind of dangerous. There's, there's a lot of dangerous things that can spawn all around. It's important that you want to be somewhere that in particular no boss spawn. Ooh, that was a 560 Apex. Dang! Um, oh, if I didn't say already, we're using the Enforcers last episode. There was a lot of changes made in the updates about them. Um, PyCon was saying he does plan to make their new projectile level up with the melee. He's just got to get around to fixing it. So that should be cool. And then he also said that he was not exactly sure what was causing them not to tame out to perfect levels, even when they were using the preferred foods. So all different things to work on. Um, with this Indom in particular, I've noticed, see the food bar over there? 
Um, I've noticed that it's been draining faster than it can recover. And part of that's due to just, I've been on such a rampage with this guy and been sprinting for probably about an hour. Um, and of course I've taken breaks in between and let his food, uh, you know, go all the way up, but it does drain way too fast. Whoa, 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 what is that? It's, that's probably an Empress Reaper or something. Oh, run, 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 run. Something bad that we can't handle yet, most likely. Um, anyway, as I was saying, it's likely due to the fact that the Indom has that super fast health recovery. And it's as it's healing the health really quick, it's also draining the food faster than it can eat. So that's another small issue that Pycon said he'll he'll address in a future patch, hopefully within the next week or so. A lot of mod authors um, do not prefer to, you know, every time they make a little tweak or fix, um, to send out uh, an update to their mod because it kind of it drives people nuts if they have daily updates or something because you got to take down a server and update every single time so it can be you know on our server it's not a big deal because it's just me and froggy man playing but on, once you have a whole bunch of people that are playing it can be kind of uh bothersome to regularly update so it's usually good as a mod author not to update more than once a week um unless there's like you know a major bug fix that has to be done so just just kind of as a rule of thumb Better not to micromanage daily. Anywho, I am loving this guy. It kind of slowed down on the, uh, like it was going really quick on getting that melee up, but it's kind of slowing down. I'm figuring we're probably going to get a little bit above 500,000 on this guy by the time I am maxed out. Let's just see how much that brought up. So we were what doing? Um, oh, those guys are made boosted. It's hard to tell. All right, 492. So that did go up quite a bit. So we're, we definitely will be above half a million, which is amazing. And um, I asked PyCon too, what, how, how he um, categorizes the Indom? Like, is it a boss or is it just like a high level normal dino? And that's more or less what it is. I'd say it's on par with kind of like an Indom or maybe a Reaper, you know, like they're not quite a boss or anything but they just have incredible stats, in particular incredible in the melee. So it's probably one of the strongest non-boss dinos in the mod, which is cool. Um, other little interesting tidbits about it, um, they're only gonna spawn in at what your whatever your dino level cap is that you have the server set to, whether that's you know normal 120 or 150, or if you have it higher, in our case, it's, it's set to 600. Um, so a lot of people play it at instead 900 on modded. Usually that's the higher end of what people do. I, I've found I really like five or 600 to be the level cap. I think it's is just right. I even had fun last time we played Primal Fear. I think we had 300 as the level cap. And that was actually really fun. I really liked that. But um, again, I digress. What was I saying? Um, yeah, the Indom you're only able to get it up to whatever your level cap is. So in our case, it's 600. However, normal dinos, when you tame them, you know, they gain that extra 50% in levels if you perfect tame it. So you just multiply whatever that that number is times 1.5, and that would be thereabouts of what it would be after the tame. Oh, Kamikaze Dodo, be careful. Got to remember that every Dodo you see that's on Alpha or Apex is a Kamikaze or a nuke dodo, which is even higher level. It's I think that's like an alpha, um, an alpha kamikaze. They're scary, we gotta turn them down because ever since we, we blocked the, uh, the dodos, the vanilla ones, they're everywhere and it, it's way too difficult. Um, but anyway, again, I keep digressing. What was I saying? Um, yes, so you are not able to get above a level, in our case, 600 Indom, so you kind of lose out on that that extra taming um, boost, and that's a lot of levels that you lose out on, because we're basically 900 with a perfect tame, 899 to 900. So we lose out on that, so you really gotta uh, respect the power of the Indom. I mean, being that it doesn't get those extra um, 300 levels and it's still 
this strong and still his stats this good. And I mean, that's why, you know, normal dinos you'd be looking at for hopefully over 100 in a stat. Whereas with this guy, you know, just at first glance, those the first numbers on the left, see it says like 74-0, 72-0. Those are the, the levels distributed throughout the dino. Um, they're, I mean, technically speaking, all fairly low, you know, for, for what we're used to seeing in like a 900. But um, the amount of just base attack and base um, every stat is incredible on these guys. So it totally makes up for it. Plus the fact that you cannot get just a wild one. You have to hatch the egg and you get the imprinting boost and all that sort of shenanigans really adds up, racks up on how powerful it is. However, you're not gonna see that boost again if, if and when you breed them. So, I don't know, it's interesting. I really like the mechanic though. I think it's really cool and more things should be like that. You know, his Reaper mechanic is really cool in this mod and then this Indom mechanic is really cool as well. Ooh, that looks like a Fabled, is it? No, there's a lot of new colorations in the Noxious I've noticed the season playing. I mean, perhaps they were always there. I didn't notice them, but I'm seeing a lot more like purples and and stuff like that, which is really cool, but it keeps faking me out. I keep thinking that it's a, a fabled version. So, and I'm pretty sure there's there's fabled Mantis. So I just haven't seen one yet. In any case, having a lot of fun with this guy. I haven't really tested out the minions too much. I've, I've never been a huge fan, although minions are very helpful, I've never been a huge fan of them just because of it's a little bit awkward to do and then also i hate the fact that you know if i i, I can get stuck on my own minions you know like when i'm if i'm trying to run away and i have my minions out i, I get stuck on them so it's kind of annoying i wish you could just walk through them or over them or whatever yeah i, I would think you should be able to i don't know maybe that's another adjustment pycon can make but um you know with things like with the broodmother's minions it just walks right over them it doesn't get stuck on them but uh, it, it likely is a very, very powerful um, type deal with the minions on this guy. But yeah, Tarantula is like this. This is something that would be immensely helpful because it's super scary to take on. Crap, where did the Tarantulas go? I know they're there. Yeah, they're right there. They're, they're extremely scary to take on because of that possible, possible poisoning. But let's go ahead and try this real quick. All right, so I summoned in my minions. Oh, that's interesting. I never noticed that. It doesn't like pop out of you. They like run in from the distance. Like he calls them. That is amazing. That is extremely cool. I love that. All right, so we got our minions and as you can see, I'm stuck on them already. I'm trying to whistle. Oh, there we go, finally. All right, go get the Trangela. That's cool. Um, I don't think his minions get powered up and one th wow, they're they're high level All right, there we go get them minions Yeah, so that's how we deal with tarantula is really not all that powerful and They're already gone, which is cool. I like that. They're not summoned in for too long because Sometimes that can cause issues too where if you go out of render distance on a lot of mods um, the minions stay in the game forever until you re-render them in. The, the timer on them just stops. It's the weirdest thing. Totally the weirdest thing. But, um, yeah, I'm not seeing those minions. Other than being something that distracts, you know, a boss or something from attacking. It makes them attack your minions instead of you. Not super duper helpful, but the concept of how it works is amazing. That is so cool how they run in from the distance. I didn't notice that before. So it's like call the wild. I love it. Got to put it back on passive. I have the uh, griffin on my shoulder, so it would be on attacking. All right. Well, we're doing awesome, guys. Let's see. How far up are we? We're getting close, getting super close. All right, I'm gonna cut out for a little bit, do a little bit more leveling. Let me get this guy to max attack and um, I'll meet you back then. What the crap is spawning there? That is so scary. That is definitely some sort of boss. Yeah, crap, that looks like it's a special reaper. That is super duper scary. That thing would annihilate us. We lose our indom, how sad would that be? Yeah, I gotta get the crap out of here. All right, guys, I'll see you back. 
All right, guys, not quite at max attack yet, but this is going to be our first big battle. We got a 560 Broodmother. It's not an elf or anything, but it's got a million health. So it should be like two to three bites. And we did it. Not a problem at all. And look at that. We took virtually no damage and we heal up almost instantly. That is awesome. That is so very awesome. I'm loving it, loving it. Man, this Indom is such a monster. And look at that. Those levels right there, that puts us at max attack. So, let's do it together. Let's get to max attack together. And you saw we're already hitting for over 500. So, let's see. Oh, oh. All right, let's get in here. But, uh, oh, did the thing run out? What's going on? Why is it not showing me my levels? What the crap? What's it going on, bro? What is going on? Can can you show me the levels? I see that no, the level up counter went away. This was our problem. There we go. This is how long I've been already playing today. All right, and one, two, three, four, and a five. Max attack, baby. Let's start to pump in that health. Holy crap. Look at those amazing health boosts. I'm gonna heal it up immediately so we don't lose all the food. Good lord, so just shy of 600,000. That is respectable. That tells me if we had a little bit higher level, higher stats, we'd easily be at the six. And it's also telling me that the apex is likely gonna be in the millions. That is ridiculous. Plus, seeing how quickly those health boosts went up. I mean, we're already almost at two million. In fact, this right here, puts us at 2 million, this guy is going to have a lot of millions of health. This totally bridges the gap. We can now totally go and take on much larger creatures. Much, much, much larger creatures. As long as there's not some other factor that I'm not taking into consideration. But good lord, I think we can do the Wyvern then. I, I definitely do. I mean, things like Origins and stuff potentially could be an issue or you know something like that but i think apex and down of anything else should be fine as long as we're at least semi-conscious of of our health and whatnot we should be fine with dynoid now i'm gonna of course have to wear our gas mask but it's not a problem i got our gas mask i got it all uh, uh repaired up and i actually made it into an ascendant one so that's pretty sweet. I can't wait though till we get the the better armor that actually includes, I think it includes a gas mask or thereabouts with it automatically. So that is sweet. That is super sweet, guys. Again, we gotta get our health up. I've been just in this general area of the game leveling up this whole time just because it's kind of it's kind of a pain in the butt, you know, because we don't have teleporters really set up elsewhere. Um, but I guess we can go over close by the dead island. Yeah, just go into the obby. The blue obby is where I'm going right now. Come on, baby. And blue obby. Awesome. There should be a lot of goodness. Badness is really what I should say, but goodness is in good XP over here. Hopefully, if we took on that Broodmother so easily, we should be able to take on other bosses similar quite easily as well. Hopefully, hopefully. Now, we got to be careful. Some bosses do hit through the mount, which is kind of scary. Oh, we got something. It's a Mega P of some sort. I wouldn't want to take on a Primal per se yet. But I think I'd be open to most else. Do we have our, our levels yet? Come on. All right, already at two million. I'm, I'm feeling comfortable. Let's see, where's that Mega P? I heard him. It's around here somewhere. Mega P, where you at, bro? Oh, I kind of don't like that I can't see him yet because it's a little scary. I don't know what I'm walking up on yet because we easily could get bashed to smithereens if it was a primal or maybe even an apex. Oh, wait, there we go. Oh, perfect. Now we gotta hope this guy doesn't kill us with or hit through the mount, because that would be an issue. It looks like we're big enough that that's hopefully not a problem, and we did it. Lickety split. This guy has so many different types of minions. Holy cow, now that, hopefully, that was a high level one. That probably gave us, yes, a ton of levels too. Look at that. 
3 million, 4 million, 5 million. Wow, and we're still got like probably another 150 levels to go. This thing is unreal. That is I almost feel like that's a mistake that it levels up that high in the health. That is craziness. This thing is so insane crazy. Already at 5 million. Let's see if we can find one more boss or one more thing that's larger. And we should be able to max this guy out. And we still haven't got a tame today. Not that I care about a tame. Ooh, I hear something. Not that I care about a tame, but I want something for you guys to name next episode. Oh, hello, bro. Yes, a good level one. All right, be careful. I don't want him to hit through the mount. And we got him yet again. What a beautiful day. Yes. Look at that. And 10. Oh, not 10 million. 8 million. Almost 9 million. Let's do that that time so the food doesn't go down. 9 million. That's a respectable bro. Oh, is there another one? I'm hearing another. Could there be yet another? I swore I just heard it again. Am I hearing things? Was it an echo? Let's peek around. Maybe it was the that guy. It could have been that guy's roar. I forget that guy's name at the moment. Should you know what I'm talking about? All right, guys. Well, I think we can go into Wyvern Den. I think it is easily safe. Ooh, even more fun. No, I see that guy doesn't make name. Euteranus, that's what I was thinking of. Pretty sure that should be safe. What are you, bro? Noxious Euteranus? That's pretty cool looking. All right, another enforcer. Beautiful. <gasps> what kind of griffin is that? Light griffin 360. Cool. Let's get that guy. If it was higher level, that would have been our tame right there. All right, what are you? Alpha 220. Nope, you die. All right, let's just pump in these extra levels here. Nice. Let's do a dinoid so I don't lose too much food. Let's just do a quick little clear of the old inventory. Very nice. And, ooh, that's a 560. It's got 8 million. Let's do it. Yeah, baby. Oh, we're melting him. We are melting him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, he summons in crazy minions, but they all got chomped. Look at that, Artifact of the Great, our first boss. And we did it. And it gives you, did it only give one artifact? I thought they usually give multiple. That's kind of sad phase. All right, well still it's something and I'm hoping it gives good level ups, but I haven't seen the levels come in yet. Now I'm gonna be careful about not removing the artifact from the inventory yet, because once I do, I don't know if I can put it back in. I usually like to clear out my inventory just by doing this. All right, let's get that up there. I put everything that I care about keeping into my inventory, clear out the dinos, and then I can just go like that. It just seems to be quicker. That really sucks. That guy gave next to no XP, unless that's that shouldn't be max level. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That is seriously unfortunate. Super sad face, bro. But we did get an artifact. Hey, hey, hey. Not too bad. Pretty soon we should probably try and take on the vanilla attack just so that we can get things like the dino scanner unlocked and um, building out attack. I can't remember if ISO fixed her dragon fight. Oh crap, that's not a Celestial, is it? I saw a weird glow on him. Apparently not, because we killed him. Looks like that was a Noxious, but... Bammy! Ooh, that was an Alpha Snow Owl. Only a level 200, though. Still don't see too many of those guys. Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Mega Pithecus, five. Oh, there's two of them. My goodness, you guys are spawning a lot today. Good grief. All right, and another one. This one's a low level one, though. Awesome. All right. Man, 10 million. I'm going to pump this guy up like crazy. I'm pretty positive he's going to get garbage speed boosts. So I'm not going to even waste it. I'd rather have this guy be a boss killer because it's our best creature yet. It's not our hardest hitting if you want to take things like the Griffin's Dive Bomb into consideration. But that combined with health is quite respectable. Quite respectable indeed. All right. So we can actually take advantage of the Wyvern Den. We're not maxed out yet. It's an easy way to get levels quickly. So let's go there. Let's, let's make it a thing. 
Let's I'll make it a thing. I should have everything that I need on my person, just dealing with the inventory. Now I hope we don't die because there's a lot of maybe you know what? Let me let me empty out my inventories first. And then we will go to the wyvern den. Alright, guys, I think I'm good to go to the wyvern den. I just noticed we're already pretty high on time. I've been yickety yakking so much today. I don't think we're gonna have time to do a new tame. But I just realized we still have this other apex egg. It's only a level 80, so I was gonna just use it for like a kibble or something. But why don't we just hatch this out just for funsies? It's still gonna be amazing, even at level 80. Let's go ahead and drop it and and come on hatch for me yeah whoa look at that guy that is awesome looking that is so crazy cool so yeah just for funsies we're gonna probably in the future do a video about an apex one once we actually have it all set and done but yeah this will give you guys something that you can name for next episode oh Ooh, I almost forgot. Um, 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 behavior, disable wandering. We're just playing Pug, and I'm so used to Pug that ought, that should be how it is. That automatically, um, disables the wandering. That works, right? Yep, yep. So annoying. But yes, look at that. It's beautiful. It's our colors, black and red. Oh, man, I love them. Love them, love them. So anyway, I'll, um, I think by the time I finish at the Wyvern Den, it probably will be ready for imprint. There we go. Beautiful. All right, we'll just leave our baby right uh, there. Probably should have hatched him in the house, but hopefully nothing bad happens. Um, we do have, let's just confirm this. Yes, we have our gas mask. I also have a spare set of armor if need be. And I've got the griffin on my shoulder, which I'm probably gonna set to, oh, I should probably bring the frost one. That would probably make more sense. Actually, 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 forget that. Um, we're gonna leave the indom there for a second and then I'll teleport him over when we're ready for him. But I wanted to share with you, I should have this guy leveled up to be at max let's just put this on i i didn't actually put the levels in yet but let's see one let's see okay one two three four and five max attack yes and we got a million in the health and we still got a long ways to go so many levels to go this is awesome i just want to see what this guy's max attack is um let's see most importantly what the dive bomb is gonna be at max attack. All right, and, oh, that that definitely was not right. That, that couldn't have been, because I know I've hit for over a million on this guy already before being at max attack. Yeah, 1.5 million. That is crazy town, 1.5 million. Um, This attack does 227, what? That's crazy, and then let's just see the normal smack, what that does. And of course, that, that dark uh, void attack that it does, um, it does tons of residual damage. And 95, this is impressive. This guy is unreal, absolutely unreal. All right, let's just grab the stuff I care about out of him. Sweet. And we can keep on leveling them. Um, is that a million? I'm going to get them up to hopefully a couple million. And then I'm going to, I'd like to get it up to 250, maybe in 300 movement speed. But that's going to take a lot. Anyway, let me go on over to the desert. And this storm is really annoying. I'm going to actually wait until morning. And let's just do a quick run of the wyvern den with our indom. All right, guys, we should be good to go. Oh my goodness, Wyvern Den, I cannot wait. Now, I did a server backup and I also did a dino wipe, um, just in case things went horribly sour. I, I, I wanna do this for the video so that you guys can enjoy the Wyvern Den for the first time. But yeah, I wouldn't wanna normally sacrifice this guy until I knew it was safe. Um, the Dino White purpose was to get rid of that Reaper Empress, which was blocking the way. And there's no way I could have went into the Wyvern Den today with that being there. It just would have been too risky. 
But I'm noticing it's been about 10 minutes since I did the wipe. And look at this. It's pretty sparse. There's almost nothing. I've seen tribes people spawn in and a few vanilla things. Oh, and a few noxious. Is that not? No, that's a toxic one. So the wyvern den might not be too happening. I mean, we'll see what's up. But anyway, let's put on the mask. But yeah, this is right where and it was a Reaper Empress. No way I could have went in here. So let's just hope and pray. Oh yeah, we got wyverns in here. We got wyverns for days. Let's go ahead and do a little health boost. 14 million. Oh my goodness. All right, and we're completely protected against the uh, poison damage against our player. So that's pretty cool. We just got to hope there's no origins. Origins or primals would be a large problem. And they actually are probably going to be in here. There definitely is going to be at least one or two. In fact, that right there, is that a primal? No. No, we're good. Look at this. Our health is taking it. We're taking a little bit of torpor, but not much. Let's just scope things out. Just got to be sure. Um, Fortunately, I think with some of the bigger stuff, they'll actually play music, hopefully. So I'll be aware that they're here. Because they're hard to tell just by the outlines what they are. Dude, we are doing amazing. Look at that already. Let's get those health points in. 16 million, 17 million. Good grief. Look at that. I'm really not scared. Now, of course, some of the bigger creatures probably can go to like 100 million or something. But hey, we are golden, guys. We are golden. Oh, this is so cool. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We got, a, it looks like a Celestial. Come on, bro. What are you, by the way? Eight packs. Almost done. Not bad. I'm curious if we can do a Celestial now. That would be quite awesome if we could. Holy cow, I would love to if that could be a thing. I'm feeling pretty comfortable with our health sitch. Yeah, we are hitting 20 million. Wow. Wow, wow. In more levels. More levels. Now remember, we have the Dino White Potion in this mod, so we can always uh, change the level, and we do. All right, and our mask is good. This is awesome. I want to try it. What, what does a Celestial have for health? Corrupted Celestial. Oh, it's only a 150. No problem. Oh, our first Celestial Soul. That is what's up. All right, we've got this guy. Are you a corrupted variant? I'm, I'm realizing now, I thought that was um, a chaos, but I'm realizing now that's just a corrupted variant of probably an alpha or something. Can I bite you, bro? It's not even aggroing at me. I guess I'm just too high on the pecking order. Do not mess with me. This is so awesome, guys. This is the coolest. Now, Indoms can get stuck on a lot in here. So it's very important to take notice of. Very, very important. All right. I'm going to keep on going with the health. Just no other stat really matters. And I mean, I would like it faster, but it, it just definitely doesn't need to be. Oh, man, this is so awesome. I should try and find some eggs while I'm here. I really, really should, but I don't think I want to take that risk yet. Not until I have better armor. Because one, one blow from anything in here would kill my character pretty much instantly. It would just be way, way too hard. I probably want to have a flyer. Although, I mean, our, our griffin probably could do it just fine. This is awesome, guys. We are going to max this guy out. This, I think that's going to be what our goal is, to get this guy maxed out. I'm really curious to see what it ends up being. Can I, can I bite you, bro? Yes! We're getting so much goodness. So much goodness. Let's just see how we do. Another six levels, and we're maxed. 21.6 million. That is respectable. Wowzers. Love them, love them. Total tank. That's out of out of everything. This guy is very tanky. Very, very tanky. Very, very awesome. So, yeah, it's it's sweet. This is my happiest moment, my favorite dino yet this season. And pretty much the only thing that I could really go into the wyvern den with. 
Wowzers. Anyway, guys, I think it is that time. I think we need to go back to the base and let me go through the comments. All right, guys, just like that, we are back at the base. Man, oh man, what a super epic, awesome, and amazing day, I do have to say. One of my favorite thus far. Just a few moments in that wyvern den, and we already got some awesome drops. The best things being, we got a primal compound bow, which is a special modded bow to shoot the special arrows. So that's actually pretty cool, because that's fairly expensive. We got our celestial soul, we got element and 32 boss essence just from the den really quickly we've got a lot of essence we're gonna be able to tame a boss soon it's pretty epic but anyway guys yes it is that time that's right time to name the dinos for those of you that do not know at the end of every single episode i go through the comments of the previous episode and i pick out all the most awesomest name suggestions that you guys leave in the comments that's right just remember if you want to have a chance of getting your name chosen you got to be a subscriber so smash that subscribe button and you got to comment down below it is just that easy anyway today it was very difficult you guys had a lot of, sometimes there's no, like almost no good names. However, this time, so many good names. I I feel so like ashamed that I can't like pick everybody's name because there's so many awesome ones, but there's only so much that I can do, and I just revealed all of them by mistake. But anyway, let's a walk through it. It was difficult, but I made do. I made do. So. First of all, the Indom, it was hard to name. I really didn't, a lot of people had white in the name and I really didn't want to have white in its name. I was thinking kind of like, what if it was like a moon shadow or moon something? Um, and then I almost went with white stalker, but I ended up going with, this is a combination of names. I did soul chomper, which I think is pretty cool. Soul, I think of kind of like white, so yeah, I thought that was pretty appropriate and it was important that I got a good name for it. Um, we're going with Vortex for our red one, which is awesome, throwback to an old one. Shadow Stalker for the black one, which is really cool. I'm going with Vader for our uh, defense unit, I think is epic. And then, yeah, that's all of them. That is all of them. So awesome names, guys. We'll be taming a lot of all these things again. So you can keep repeating those names so I can use them. Oh, so many awesome ones. But for next episode, yes, we have yet another Indom. And hopefully now that this one isn't white, we'll see even cooler names. Oh, man, I can't wait. One that I liked was Maximum Carnage. But I didn't feel that went well with a white one. Um. Anyway, yes, I think it should be time to imprint a regular kibble. What the crap's a regular one? I always forget. Um, I think maybe this one's a regular. Let me just see. Is that it? Yep. Beautiful. And we're at 100%. Also, someone said in the comments that potentially an Apex at level 80 might actually still be better than a alpha at 540 so that'll be interesting to see we'll get to try it out next episode i'm not expecting much but if it actually is good that would be all the better anyway guys i had an awesome day thank you oh so much for watching it's been a pleasure as always show that amazing support for the series by smashing that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe for the daily arc awesomeness and as always guys i'll see you tomorrow thanks again and peace out